think I'm so weird when they walk by and the camera is just in my face. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kiana. Hello if you're new. And today I'm gonna be bringing you guys a work vlog. So if you're new, I work part-time as an actuary intern, actuarial intern, and I actually finished my internship in about two months. Because my internship is wrapping up, I just want to push out a lot of work content until the end of the year so my theme for today's vlog is tips for winding down after a really long week and dealing with burnout and stress from work um it's been a very rough week today is friday by the way so you can tell this vlog is very personal but yeah so it's been a very hard week for me and all i could think about yesterday was okay kiana it's friday tomorrow you can chill out you can decompress de-stress relax so yeah today i'll just be wrapping up a couple of stuff from work closing out some tasks for the week and then i end work at 4 30 today it's almost 8 30 which is my start time um i actually don't normally work on fridays but i am taking monday off because it's grad picks um if you guys realize i have my lashes done Anyways, if you guys enjoy the content in this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you would like to see more. Like I said, a lot of work content will be being pushed, will be being pushed throughout the rest of the year. So stick around, let's start the vlog. Okay guys, so I thought I'd just come chat for a bit. I'm waiting on something to upload on my computer and my computer has just been so slow since Wednesday. It's actually stressful. But speaking of stress, that's why I was just kind of saying, all right, let me come hop on the vlog for a bit and talk. So I wanted to talk about burnout because I've been really stressed out with, I guess, primarily school, but because of school, it's been feeding into other aspects of my life. So if you guys don't know my 
exam PE is supposed to be on November 20th. Guys, I know I'm gonna fail. I'm telling you from now, I know I'm gonna fail. And I know that's like failure attitude to say I'm gonna fail. But I'm so far behind. I'm so, so, so far behind. I have been going so far back and forth trying to, you know, decide if I'm gonna do this exam or if I want to cancel it or, well, you know, you can't really cancel it. So it's really if I want to do the exam, if I want to just not even bother stressing myself to try. I've decided that I am going to attempt it. Um, I think I've just been in a really bad headspace and every time I attempt to study, I literally just stare and just start crying and saying like, oh, why am I even gonna bother wasting my time to study? I'm just gonna fail anyways. And I don't know if it's because I failed this exam before and like the last time I was prepared for it, COVID pushed it. I'm just so stressed out and tired of looking at this content and like, suffering <laughs> so anyways i talked to one of the managers at my work and you know i was telling him and being honest that it's just really hard i didn't figure out i didn't think about how hard it is to really prioritize both school and this and work as well so yeah anyways long story short i'm gonna do the exam but it's interesting in regard to burnout it's interesting that you know a few weeks ago I felt like I was getting very close to the edge of like super stressed out. You know, I had the unreserved shoot coming up and I had midterms, guys. School? I don't know what's going on, but ever since COVID, they've been giving us way more work than ever before. Like I know it in my chest. I know we're getting so much more work than if we were actually at the school, which is fine, but it's like chill, you know? And I guess it's like, you can always identify when you're about to feel super burnt out you know you you feel yourself getting very on edge you start snapping at people because you're so stressed with your own shit you cry <laughs> which i've been doing so much of and like like i i could literally drop a pencil and start crying that's how bad it's been but i kind of want to talk about things that i've been trying to do to address it and i'm gonna talk about more stuff later on in the video but i think it really comes down to trying to be very organized and taking things taking things one step at a time really utilizing your planner but not stressing yourself and not putting too much burden on yourself saying no to things when you actually cannot manage to go so for example like the going out the the all of that like i haven't even really seen dante i haven't really been leaving my house which has its pros and cons like of course give yourself a break but let me save this because my battery is gonna die so even though you want to give yourself a break every now and again you really need to understand that you know you can't be going out every single day of the weekend and i've told you guys before that i definitely was like ignoring school and all my obligations to go hang out with friends and it's obviously i'm reaping what i sowed so there we go um but yeah i just wanted to remind you guys don't be too hard on yourself you know um take it slow get your shit together guys get your shit together and stop being a waste like me Okay guys, so yesterday when I was planning out the theme for this video and I decided I was gonna make it be all about like winding down and chilling out, I decided to make a list of tips for you guys for winding down after a very long week of work. So I have eight for you guys, here we go. So tip number one, reduce your screen activities and do things you enjoy. So why I came up with that is especially if you're doing online work or online school, we spend so much of the time staring at the screen and having all that bad blue light come into your eyes. And so I just thought that would be a really helpful tip to, you know, do activities that are fun and they don't require you staring at your computer. So, you know, I've been doing puzzle books. I've been playing my piano more. I've been playing cards by myself. Um, maybe I can drop a few in the comment section, but you know, there are a bunch of screen free activities that you can do. Also feel free to Google it, but yeah. Number two that I have is to work out, go for walks, go do yoga, 
Um, I've been doing walks pretty often after work and they are so good at just like calming your mind out. I always listen to podcasts or play music and just sing as I walk or just, you know, soak in all the podcast, audio, whatever. <laughs> okay. Number three, shower, take care of yourself. So like have a spa night, a self-care night, always relaxing. I'm not a bubble bath person or a bath person in general, but you know, whatever works for you guys. You could also wash your hair, just do a face mask. So, you know, the world is your oyster. Number four, stop working. This one's really important because I feel like for me, I always finish work at either four, 4.30, sometimes five. And if I don't get something done, I will work even an extra hour, hour, and a half after just to kind of get the work done and i'm not saying don't work overtime sometimes it's important to work overtime and just get things done um but i just think when you do it constantly it starts taking a toll on you especially when i started my internship i used to do this a lot i used to spend so much time out of my personal time working up till like 8 p.m 9 p.m and it was really exhausting and it made me feel like all i did was spend my time at that desk you know and i i started getting really sad and anyways just don't don't <laughs> anyways just don't spend all your time working it's very stressful sometimes number five catch up with a friend or family member phone calls are honestly the best guys facetime friends facetime family you know i have family members that live in different countries so it's always nice to talk to my dad and just say Hey, how you doing you know so always catch up with a friend um, or a family member it really helps chill you out sometimes number six reflect on the good things that have happened so especially at the end of a long day something I've really started doing is writing down all the positives at the end of the day and the negative things and usually the pot <laughs> and usually the positives outweigh the negatives which is always nice now obviously if the bad outweighs the good <laughs> shit <laughs> but i think a lot of the times there are positive things that happen to us that we don't even acknowledge them as good things for example we don't appreciate the simple things like having a good cup of coffee but the minute we have a cup of coffee that might not be too sweet or it might be too sweet or you know the milk is bad we definitely remember that and we get frustrated so make a list of your pros and cons and try to look at the simple things in life that actually made you happy throughout the day Number seven, eat dinner and have a glass of wine. Obviously, you don't need to have the glass of wine, but you know, some people like to have a glass of wine. But the main point was to, you know, eat a meal after work and just spend some time, enjoy yourself, watch a show, enjoy what you're eating, and just appreciate it, you know, be grateful. And final tip, don't rush to get anything else done and just enjoy the moment. And that one really rings true for me at least because I feel like once I'm done work, I really jump into trying to get schoolwork done and I don't take a break sometimes. And that leads to why I get burnt out sometimes because I'm just so overwhelmed and I feel like all I'm doing is working. So for the rest of the evening, um, I'm going to dinner at 8 p.m. We were supposed to go at 7 but changed the reservation. Right now, I am relaxing and I'm just watching an episode of Survivor. I want to play my piano for a bit, so let's see if I actually do. I think the main point of it right now is that I'm not trying to rush to do anything. I'm just taking it one step at a time. So we'll see what happens. Stupid, 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 stupid. Oh.
Darn. Okay guys, it's 6.20 and I'm gonna do a little bit of exam P work until seven and then I'll go get ready for dinner since I know what I'm wearing and everything. Something I'm gonna note to you guys. So I'm gonna actually make an exam P study cram diary, but I just kind of want to share with you guys what I'm doing right now. I'm not gonna do a quiz. I'm gonna work on chapter four so that tomorrow I can jump straight into questions because chapter four is actually the only chapter that I don't really know much about because it's always been the last chapter and it's very theoretical. So <laughs> to me, that kind of means like skip it until the questions come up in the exam then learn as you go. But I kind of just want to go through it right now. So I'm making notes for chapter four and I think I should be able to get through quite a bit of that before I go. Um, which should make tomorrow very smooth sailing. I'm kind of excited. I love me a challenge, um, low key. And I think because I really took the day today to relax and just clear my mind and just chill out. And I did the same yesterday. I'm excited. Let's see how I feel next week when I'm like balls deep into the studying. But that's how that's going. <laughs> Wish me luck. Damn. <laughs> I'm putting all of this out there. Guys, if I don't pass the exam, I'm not even going to mention it. So don't ask me. Don't ask me till you see a video that said I passed. If you don't see a video that said I passed, I didn't pass. Guys, I feel like no matter what, I'm literally always wearing the same five things everywhere I go. But that's okay, you know, that's okay. So I just called my Uber um, and it's about three minutes away. But yeah, this is the fit, black t-shirt and the same pants that <laughs> I always wear. But yeah, I'm just gonna end the vlog here, guys, because by the time I get home, I'm sure I'm not really gonna talk to the camera. I'll fix my hair after. But yes, if you guys liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I hope you took something away from this video that could help you and could kind of show you the stress that kind of comes with being an actuary, but it's not all bad. But sometimes it can be pretty hectic just at certain periods of the job, like project season and all of that. Um, yeah, but if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Yo, I have so much hair. This is crazy right now. But yeah, if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out. And don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more. Like I said this morning, a lot of work content coming up till the end of the year. So yeah, stick around for that and I'll see you guys next time.